Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobit Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Exogate Initiative, which is a base building game all about building and managing mankind's first mission across the universe. That's right, let's jump into things and I will explain exactly what the heck is going on. Now, usually at this point of the episode, uh, I say that I've played through the tutorial. However, this game has no tutorial and so you'll have to take my word for it that I can try and explain, you know, to the best of my ability what the heck is going on. Right, Rudy, what are you saying? Today is uh, your first day uh, at Exogate Initiative as our executive officer. I'm the founder of this program. A few years ago, I dedicated my fortune to research and develop a brand new kind of technology, one, will, one that will send us beyond the limits of our own little world, our mission to explore with intelligence, with pragmatism, and with respect. I know you have a lot of work to do. Excellent. Indeed, we do. A uh, committee was appointed to monitor your progress and unlock new funds when you reach objectives. The first one is determined, it will be to determine if life exists somewhere in the universe. I mean, that, to be fair, is quite a big... It's quite a big and complex mission. So, um, as you can see, we start in this in this underground area. Now, supposedly, uh, this is under the Swiss Alps somewhere. I'm not entirely sure uh, why, but we're inside a mountain. Uh, we start with basically one bit of uh, main infrastructure, and that is the Exogate. Um, if we click on it, it takes us through to the star map. We will be going to all of these places, and I look forward to doing so. However, we need to get the fundamentals in order, and we need to get our base up and running first. We've got uh, a couple of these little builder drones, which we will absolutely make use of. Up in the top left-hand corner, we've got money, we've got science points, uh, we've got power, available power, and used power, and then we've also got gators, which is just a number of employees. Basically, every employee we can shove through the gate, and so this is just a total uh, a total tally of our employees. Uh, right, okay, we've got a couple of missions that we need to that we need to get accomplished. Bring back and study a biological sample, and we need to hire a scientists build a laboratory of a minimum 16 tiles build a bio sample containment unit explore a planet holding life collect one biological sample build a biological sample study and study one biological sample well that sounds like quite a lot of work now um let's get cracking let's get cracking at least on uh on the basics uh, we'll do a little bit of we'll do a little bit of mining over here now the mining happens um pretty fast i actually like it i really really like how these uh how these little drone things operate now uh, i should point out we can actually get ourselves some more drones and to be honest i think i'm actually going to do that let's get ourselves like i don't know three additional drones because that's going to help us certainly speed up speed up the mining operation now uh we need to wait for all of these for all of these bits of rock to be mined out that's fine not a big not a big deal whatsoever i tell you what whilst we're waiting for that let's check out the next tab over here gators um and this is where i guess eh, some of the important very very important work indeed will happen uh we're going to start a brand new recruitment campaign now we can only recruit one type of uh one type of employee at the moment and that is the scientist that's fine. That's not a that's not a big deal at all. Uh, we have got well, we can set up various parameters here. I mean, we can spend ten thousand candidates maximum monthly wage. Uh, let's keep it. Let's keep it on basics. Campaign duration. I mean, ten days. You know, no. Let's let's not do that. Let's let's go three days. Sure. Campaign budget. The minimum the minimum budget to get three scientists. I think that's exactly what we need. Three days seems like a pretty a pretty good number. That will change um, as we get a little bit more uh, a little bit more advanced, a little bit more developed. Uh, but for now, it's fine. Right. So the builder the builder bots are going to fill in all of the tiles. That's great. Uh, we need to probably get all the walls uh, set up. We need to get walls and doors in place. So I'm actually going to get look to put a door in like there. Probably just a single door. But you know you never know. We can maybe think about a double door. Yeah, so someone like that. Beautiful, happy days. Squeeze a door in right over there. And I think I'm quite happy for this to become our lab. Now, we've only got a couple of buildings available, uh, or a couple, I guess it's not a building, a couple of room types available. We've got barracks, we've got mess, we've got lab, and we've got the generator. Also, three new scientists are available to hire. Uh, let's get the lab down first. Seven by five, that should be more than enough tiles, I do indeed believe. So we'll get that started, and then we shall return 
to our scientist hiring area. And uh, all of these scientists have different stats. They've got different wages. That's fine. They've got different nationalities. Not like that particularly matters. Body, mental strength, perception, social knowledge, and logic. Now, I'm just going to tell you straight off the bat that we're going to hire pretty much everyone. Now, obviously, that's going to put me at a little bit of a financial, um, in a little bit of a financial pickle. We don't have any cash generation at this moment in time. But mark my words, uh, we will. Now, this is the this is the uh, this is the lab that's been built. That's great. Uh, I'm gonna pause real quick and just sort of get a little bit of extra, a uh, little bit of extra stuff done over here. I'd like to get a room probably about that size, and then another room probably about this size. If I can take account of the fact that we are, you know, sitting in a, you know, we're sitting in a mountain and there are a bunch of natural walls, then that will actually be quite handy. Now, I guess we'll keep our scientists available up at the top here. That is no problem whatsoever. Yes, uh, that's basically what I'm doing with all these three uh, these three rooms. We're going to get everyone a bed. Everyone needs a bed. Everyone needs a few other different bits and bobs. Uh, everyone needs to eat stuff like that. Uh, we'll get all of the we'll get all of the basics covered. And whilst we're waiting for all of the basics to be covered, uh, we can talk about placing down some individual buildings in individual rooms. The lab, for example. Uh, we can get a couple of different buildings. We can get the research table. That's it. It's literally called the research table. Man, that is that building is flipping loud. Jeez Louise. Very, very loud. Uh, I think that's effects. There we go. Turn that down a little bit. Beautiful. That's a little bit more, a little bit more manageable. Uh, and we can also get the biocontainment sample. We can also get the bio sample study. Put that in the corner over yonder. And we'll also get ourselves a patent console. I mean, I don't think that I mean, none of this costs a, none of this costs an arm and a leg. It's actually very, very, very cheap, but that's fine. No Gator has the required level to use the the patent writing console. That's okay. I think we can just about we can just about tolerate that. Now, everyone needs needs clothes. Everyone needs a whole bunch of stuff. We'll get that all sorted. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves some doors. Over there, over there, and over there. And we can look to designate, I guess, this area as the barracks. Get this area designated as the barracks. This area can be the mess. We've already got a lab, and I guess this can be the generator room. Sure, why not? I mean, we can extend all of these rooms a little bit, not a huge amount, but we can. It's definitely something that we can do. Uh, right, so yeah, my builder bots are a little bit busy at the moment. That's fine. Uh, we also have 62 available power. That is going to drop substantially once we get all of the, I guess, the research and the technical buildings in place. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now, what is what is this room? This is the mess. And we've got the beds over here. Now, what can we get in the mess? Automate, automate that provide meal trays to gators. Well, we'll get two of those, sure. And then we'll get, like, what, like four tables? One, two, three, four... Why not five? Honestly, they cost 500 bucks. It hardly costs anything. Squeeze them in there, eh? That sounds like a good plan. And similar situation over here. We'll get some beds. I think that should be enough space for everyone to be accommodated. Yep. And we also need to get some of these, what are they called? Lockers. Yeah, we'll get some of those lockers. But we don't actually have the electricity to manage. So we're going to have to go into the generator room. And we're going to be able to generate some, some electricity over here. I mean, it's pretty sort of basic stuff. We need to make sure that in the early days anyway, we're balancing all of our resources, you know, against against one another. It's not overly not overly challenging. We just need to make sure that we've got enough of everything. Give that to you, give that to you, give that to you. This feels like a little bit of a waste of space here, but I mean, we're not exactly short on space at the moment, so I think we can afford to... I think we can afford to, to, to make this work. Now, uh, the meal vending machines, this needs to be manually stocked by myself. Um, and we've got a little a little tray thing here, or I don't know, like a little elevator from, well, the blackness of space by the looks of it. That's fine, I guess. Uh, and that's just going to be the, 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 I don't know, the, the meals for our, the meals for our peeps. Anyway, we spent the better part of 150k getting everything in order. Uh, let's, can I... Click on this, assign to you, assign to you, and assign to you. Excellent. And we'll do the same sort of thing. Have I assigned everyone? <laughs> I think I might have just, I've not matched those up. I think they're they're going higgledy-piggledy all over the place. Like a, 
like a weird, I don't know, it's a weird system. Anyway, um, everyone's got everything that they should theoretically need. Now, there are more rooms that are available, for example, a training room, but uh, that's not what I wanted to do uh, at all. Cancel that. Uh, but we're going to need to get ourselves, we're going to need to get ourselves a little bit of research on the go before we start thinking about before we start thinking about getting any uh, getting any brand new rooms. However, the reason that we're all here is to explore planets. That's right. And the way that we explore planets is through this exogate. Now, 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 this is Earth. It doesn't really look like Earth, but this is it. Uh, we can choose to connect our exogates to any one of these planets. Now, they have recommended levels. Uh, it's a difficulty thing, apparently. Uh, it also costs a amount, a certain amount of energy in order to link up. Uh, we're going to connect here. It's going to cost us 45 energy to do so. Uh, and then we're going to go and create mission, and we're going to go and explore this planet. It's, it's literally that cool. Uh, we can design a custom, a custom logo. Uh, I don't know. We'll call it uh, Potato Force... Potato Force 1. Sure, that sounds good to me, and we'll have orange, and we need to find something that looks kind of potato-y. That looks kind of potato-y. Let's, let's go for it. Potato Force 1, brilliant, excellent. So, we've created a team. That's brilliant. We're now going to create a mission, and we're going to assign this team to the job. However, if we try to start the mission, boom, yep, we have absolutely nobody as part of the team. Um, and the reason that we don't have anyone as part of the team is because I haven't assigned them yet. Uh, so I think it's an opportunity for us to just go boom, boom, and boom. Brilliant. What do you know? Uh, we're going to get everyone, we're going to get everyone assigned, and we're going to start sending the three scientists on their first mission. How exciting is that? It's very, very simple. Uh, oh yeah, the budget summary. I gotta be honest, uh, we're not gonna, it's not... Not, not good vibes. Not good vibes in the budget department. No, we haven't actually made any money. We will make money if we complete all of the, uh, all of the seven objectives. Uh, but we need to discover life before we do any of that. Or before we get our 100k. Anyway, um, the exogate is, is just chilling here. We'll send our three scientists off. Brave heroes into the portal. Boom. Exogate, exogate, exogate. And suddenly... The base is very, very empty. Now, what I really want to know is, do we pay salaries whilst they're in the Exogate? Because technically, I mean, we can't keep tabs on them. I have no idea if they're, you know, slacking off or not. Uh, this seems like a bit of a, this seems like a bit of an employment dispute waiting to happen, if you ask me. Anyway, um, speaking of employment dispute, let's actually go on another recruitment campaign. We're going to get some more scientists. Uh, okay, all right. Well, that's a little less than ideal. Let's do that. Raise it to to that campaign budget. 20k. I mean, is that seriously like all we're gonna get? 6,000? Sure. I really want to try. I really want to try and get ourselves like three brand new, three brand new science candidates. Like, I'd like to get more different types of people as well. Uh, but for now, scientists are scientists are fine. Anyway, uh, as you can see up in the top left-hand corner here, Team Potato Force is going to be on a mission for eight days. Scientists, uh, scientist recruitment is going to be out for nine days. I don't really think that there's anything that we need to do other than perhaps get ourselves another generator in here, which I will do. But it's not particularly it's not particularly challenging for me to do. There we go. Sounds a little strange. So yeah, we'll get that all done. Uh, I think we've got all of the different types of all of the different types of robots. Oh yeah, we haven't built a double door yet. Sure, I'll build a double door over there. Builds instantly as well, which is a nice little bonus, I suppose. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is kind of this is kind of it. Why don't we Why don't we work on getting Why don't we work on getting Oh, uh oh, what's going on here? All right, Team Potato Force reporting in. And now we have a little uh, a little interaction. A little interaction with Samantha. Cool. Team leader, do you copy? We hear you, Earth. Here is Potato Force, transmitting from FD-767. How are things on your end? Uh, good. What do you see? It's barren. Rocky surface, similar, similar to the moon, craters, thin atmosphere, gravity is close to Earth. The whole team and myself are moved to tears. Copy that. Have you decided on our first words? We'll be broadcasting to the planet. Millions, billions will hear us. What should we say? As the initiative... Uh, executive officer, you will have to make many decisions like this one. I mean, I fail to believe that we didn't think of this before <laughs> before we went. Why are we wasting valuable comms, comms time on this? 
Uh, something epic. Something classy. Something epic. I'll find something. I, why couldn't you just find something in the first place? We're ready for the broadcast. Okay. Apparently, apparently we are broadcasting to humanity. Excellent. What's the story behind this? I have absolutely no idea. What did you say? We're a team of scientists and pioneers on a journey across the stars, and we have a mission. Explore and learn as our parents and ancestors have been doing for centuries, in peace and in good faith. We are currently on FD-767, million light years away from Earth. Thank you for following our journey with Exogate Initiative, with the Exogate Initiative. Good job with the broadcast. I don't think it was a brilliant broadcast, but that's okay. Anyway, everyone is back. That is wonderful. Uh, Potato Force is back. That's brilliant. No injuries, which is, which is great. And everyone gains uh, a whole bunch of XP, which is fantastic. Very, very, very good indeed. Now, everyone is probably hungry. Everyone is probably a little bit hungry and also probably a little bit tired after uh, after that meal. Now, we're going to watch Hannah here and we're just going to see Hannah's uh, Hannah's little little meter just disappear, her hunger meter disappear. Something change for sleep and then go to bed. Pretty much that is that's kind of what the objective is. Now, I'm actually going to I'm actually going to do my best to try and open up another uh, sort of room here. I think we want to probably get Maybe a little bit of a larger barracks. Yeah, something like that looks good to me. Because I would like to get, like, another Potato Force... Another Potato Force team. Maybe not as, you know, illustrious and successful as the first, but a second Potato Force. Because, uh, let's be real, I can just throw my, my team back into... I can throw them back into the gates, but it seems like a bad idea given how sleepy they are. And what is that? Like, how agitated they seem to be? Or at least how agitated you seem to be? Yeah, if everyone could just, like, go to sleep, then that would be great. And then uh, and then that would make me very, very happy indeed. Uh, but for now, we've got, like, a couple more scientists coming online in, like, one single day anyway. So, you know, no biggies. And we'll also get ourselves a door right over here. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, now we're talking. Three new scientists are available for hire. I gotta be honest, video game, we are literally going to hire everyone here. Is this going to be enough? Is this going to be enough of a team to sustain my my universe conquering ambitions? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Let's actually rotate this around. Really? Really that one bit that I was... Ugh. Unbelievable. Now, I'm going to make this room somewhat future-proofed. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, one, two, three. One, two, three. Brilliant. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go on our second mission. So... We can't scan the surroundings. Uh, we also can't claim because claiming doesn't exist in this version of the game. That's fine. Uh, however, we can connect up to a brand new to a brand new area. I mean, do we want to go to like a level a level two planet or do we want to stick with a level one planet? I think we're going to stick with a level one planet. Let's go Potato Force mission. Potato Force mission level one. That is fine. Uh, then we're going to go into needs to be through here, right? Oh, actually, do I need to? You know what, Potato Force 1, you know what, Potato Force 1 can go and do it, and whilst Potato Force 1 is away doing what they're gonna do, uh, we'll just, we'll just chill. Also, you know what I feel? I feel like we should have a door in here. Like, there needs to be some sort of a, there needs to be some sort of a double door here. Like, this is probably like a contamination issue or something, you know? It only seems right. Anyway. The gate's gonna go and do their do their thing. Not enough energy. We don't have enough energy to make a claim on any other planets. That's honestly not the end of the world because we can take this opportunity to get ourselves perhaps one, maybe two more generators. I mean, it is like pretty darn dirt cheap. Let's just go, honestly. Let's go. Sure. And then now that we should be able to claim, we'll connect over here. We'll create a mission. We'll create a brand new team. This is gonna be a blue one. Uh, let's go Potato Force 2. Excellent. 
And we will start Potato Force 2's mission in just a second. However, we need to get scientists loaded up and ready to rock and roll. And let's hope that we don't lose the connection to the other planet that we're currently exploring, because that would be very, very bad. Uh, but we're going to continue. We're going to aggressively expand, and we're going to look aggressively uh, for... We're going to look aggressively for life. We'll get rid of our gators at the top of the top of the screen right now. Oh, thank goodness the portal just managed to open. It looked like a bit of a bit of a bad bad connection. A little bit of a poor line. All right. Excellent. And suddenly we're left alone with our own thoughts yet again. What a sad state of affairs. This brand new lab that we've built that we've gone to all the expense of building for absolutely nothing. Okay, simply stunning. How was the trip? Fine. First step through the gate was weird. Giant blue sun. I love it. Nothing. Rocks and dust as far as the eye can see. We're starting our exploration. Initial readings were quite promising. Sure, what's going on? We have... We have two way down. West side is steeper, but the view is more open. The east side is through a canyon. Look easier, but we might miss things. Uh, west, you need to get the best view for your expedition. East sounds safe. Your call. It's your call. We feel the east side is safer, so east it is. Good luck. We reached the bottom of the hill. The path through the canyon was relatively easy. We can see a structure in the distance. It could be a tree. What does your science officer say? You're all scientists. Bouchard is the one who pointed out it didn't look like a rock formation. Right. Okay, we need to be get closer to be sure. The standard protocol is first to observe from a safe distance, but I think we could get closer to the contact right now. In either case, we might miss valuable information. It's up to you to make a decision. Get closer? How do you feel about this Bouchard? Oh, this is Bouchard that we're literally talking to. Wait, did she talk about herself in the... Th in the did she talk about herself in the third person? Okay, you know what? Get closer. Copy that. Keep us posted. Okay, we're going in. We're going in. Is this the life that we've been looking for? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. In fact, yeah, I'll tell you it is because we've explored a planet holding life. Ha <laughs> ha. The game is ruined. The game has ruined it for me already. What a spoiler. We reached the tree. According to our initial estimations, it's been dead for two to six thousand years. We missed this. We missed his leaves by a second or so. Excellent. Right. Take a sample. Brilliant. Bring it back. We got a sample. Garcia is carrying the sample. 12 science points earned. Man, I love getting science points. Life. We've encountered life. Or something that was alive in the past. I can barely imagine what it means for us, for our planet, for this project. Please extend my congratulations to the whole team. Your work is invaluable. And look at that. We got the sample. The sample under our belts. And you still didn't level up from that. That's a little bit of a farce, to be honest. I feel like you if you discovered life, you deserve at least a level. Right. Um, so we're gonna get this, we're gonna get the sample into the, the bio sample containment. Uh, whatever that means. And we're also gonna check out, not that one. Uh, we're actually gonna check out this area here. So uh, a laboratory. If we go into lab, we can take a look at some specific different bits and bobs. Uh, we don't have enough science uh, points at the moment, and we're not even flipping close. We need 200 in order to progress that. What about a training room? 200 science points to progress a training room? Uh, 300 points to get a, a bigger generator? Yeah, so you could say that we are a few science points away from maybe being able to meaningfully uh, do something. Also, can I not just order some more ch chicken? Also, look. Look at that. Plant life? Chicken life. Do you not reckon we can... You know, slip a, you know, uh, slip a, slip a wing into the biosample containment and maybe fool, fool some people into thinking that, that chickens existed elsewhere. No, just me. Hmm. Not sure about that. Right. Potato Force 1, this is going to be our first level 2 mission. Um, let's not actually start the mission yet. Let's let Potato Force 1 just have a little bit of downtime. Although Hannah is feeling and looking pretty darn good. You're looking okay, and you're looking okay too. I mean, if everyone's feeling fine about this, then heck yeah, let's go and let's go and get a second mission done, uh, or a level two mission done even. It seems like no bad thing. This is Potato Force Two reporting in. We nearly tripped over a few mushrooms. They're shaped like some spheres and are yellow with the random pattern of gray. Study properties, detect threats, and scientific interest. Let's do it. Okay, no issues there at all. That all seems positive from my perspective. 
Uh, could we get some more money, please? I am just absolutely terrified that we're going to run out of money. That is disastrously, 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 disastrously bad if we run out of money. Hannah is running to and fro. Yellow Mushroom Properties uses radiation energy source. Bioweapon. We discovered bioweapon? That's everything about the Yellow Mushroom discoveries. Well, thank goodness, eh? Thank goodness gracious me. That was, that was close. Um, we can't take a sample. Lab and free sample containment box are required. Right. Um, that's a bit of a shame because I would have loved a new sample containment box. Let's actually build a new sample containment box before we go on our next mission. There we go. Yeah. Uh, so, the patent. We cannot write a patent. You must discover scientific interests by studying by studying samples. Yeah. And to be fair, I don't think we're really giving our time, our, our team, the opportunity to do any sample discovery. So we'll maybe leave that there for a little while. Biosample. Oh, it looks like it's... Actually, tell a lie. It looks like it's been studied. Which is... Which is happy days. Which is very, very happy days. Yeah, okay. We lost even more money there. Um, this is to be expected. This is exactly to be expected. Everyone, have a, have a munch. That's fine. No issues at all. No issues at all there. We've got a couple of scientists here. Just having a chat around the place. I'm interested to see what this level two, this level two brings. Also, yeah, we, can I do some studying? I don't know where my, I don't know where my tree sample went. It was around for sure. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I the, the thing is, is that I actually legitimately. Wait, hold on. What's that? That's the somebody took the sample with them to the new world. That's literally the sample in the gate, isn't it? Oh my god, that's the sa- you can see it right there. Oh my god. Who took the sample with them? Oh, that's stupid. Dark volcanic sand. Do you copy? Seeing something in the distance, they look like birds. Tall birds. Are you okay? Take your time. I need this sample back. Keep your distances. Keep us posted over and out. I need somebody to come back and take the... Who's going to be... Who's going to be sensible enough or unsensible enough, as the case may be, to crawl up into the exogate and rescue this sample? God, how could somebody be so stupid to leave the sample in the gate? I mean, honestly, of all of the things to do. I mean, there are literally, like, infinite number of places that you can take the sample uh, on the base uh, that are not the gate. Uh, and that would have been so much more useful. I mean, we've got three scientists which are literally milling around doing absolutely diddly squat right now. Right, what's up with the birds? They're magnificent birds? Excellent. Do they have feathers? Their wings are long, probably three to four. Say wings because they look similar to earth birds. With more articulations. A bird spider? Anything dangerous about them? They seem to be grazing peacefully. Okay, come on. Just come home and just... just investigate this bleeding sample would you okay um well i mean we can send we can send our next can send our next mission out do i want to do that i feel like i kind of do we'll connect up here and we'll we'll create the mission uh we'll do it with potato force 2 obviously it seems no reason not to i mean we've already done the level 1 missions there's nothing there's nothing else uh really to be done I would like to get an understanding of exactly why we are doing these missions in the first place, because um, it seems a little bit strange that we're just doing them for the sake of doing them, for the sake of some rich guy who's trying to explore life. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. We try and stand 20 meters away from the creature. Uh, as we reported earlier, there are three members are keeping them roughly three meters high. Four articulations, which allows them to bend around and reach. Bright white fur, maybe feathers, probably similar to our penguins. Do they notice you? Okay. What are they eating? They're eating some sort of algae. Try to get a sample from them. You know what? Just go for it. Just go for it. Just give me a flipping sample. And in the meantime, let's get this other let's get this other Potato Force 2 mission out there. I mean, maybe they'll rescue the sample, maybe the sample will be te teleported to another realm, who knows. But we need another sample, right? Just in case this one this one breaks or crashes the game or something. 
So let's get that one done. Let's get another mission. Another mission on the way. I think I think it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Literally just chilling behind behind the gates. Right. So we're getting closer to the creatures. They're startled and they ran away. Everything okay? Okay. Keep exploring the planet. Right. Uh Oh, we got another sample. We combined it. We come to the beach and find enough material to study these creatures for months. Wonderful job. Come back to base. Brilliant. Excellent. That's two samples. That is fantastic. And look, the, the sample, the tree sample is gone. I don't know. I don't know who got the tree sample, but that looks positive. All right, what do you got? It looks like a generic. It looks like a generic sort of sample. That is fine. Now, Hannah, you got level two. Nice. What does that mean for us? I'm truthfully not sure. Uh, Durand, you got level 2 as well. That's pretty good. Oh, we got a poster up here. Oh, unknown worlds. Nice. Okay. Order a little bit more food. And let's actually get some of this... Yeah, let's get some of this biological sampling uh, actually done. Because we need, to, we need to do it. There's no food available to gators. There is. I'm telling you there is. I'll get another... I'll get another... Uh, food machine just so that we have yet more redundancy here there we go i presume that the biological sample has now been studied or at least if it hasn't been studied it should be studied soon there we go love to see it love to see it and the great thing is is that we've obviously got the second team off doing exactly what it needs to be doing uh right now which is which is brilliant i have no idea if this is costing me much to maintain it only cost a thousand to like build in the first instance so I guess it's probably pretty cheap, but I might be wrong. The study of the sample pointed to a bright future for the initiative. We will provide additional funding to keep the momentum going. Excellent. Uh, well, you still have to prove to us that this thing will not be a giant waste. Do you have any idea how to turn a profit from your explorations? No. No. Write and publish a patent. On what? Alien life? Really? On, like, on alien life? You must discover scientific interests by studying biological sample or specimen in order to write patents. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'd love to, but alas, I can't. Oh, we're, do we're actually doing Generator Mark II here. That's good. Good to know. Uh, right. Uh, we see a, a... Okay, fine. Just go for it. Just go for it. Honestly, 19% chance sounds like a bad, a bad percentage chance, but we're going to give it a punt anyway. Right. Are there any more samples? There's a couple of samples here. We still can't write any patents, but that's okay. And we're doing that. Uh, we're doing that. That research now, which is kind of nice. Okay, I need to get some base scientists. You know, just to oh, study the finished biological sample study. That doesn't do anything for us apparently. A bit disappointing. Kind of expected a little, a little better. Generator Mark II, not really going to make a tremendous difference in the grand scheme of things by the looks of it. But we'll be able to pour a few more, a few more points into our uh, into our research. Is there? Yeah, there's literally nothing left. Okay, um, let's start up a let's start up a brand new expedition. We'll go. I mean, sure. Let's go further out. Let's go further out. Why not? And we'll create mission. You start it. I mean, honestly. Oh, Potato Force One needs to rest his brain. Really? Okay, that's fine. We're trying to study the creatures right away. We couldn't find any trace of them. Understood. Okay. That seems like an absolute total waste of time. Are these guys... Hold on. Are these guys... Uh, I mean, they're not exactly, like, un... They're not exactly, like, super untired. Uh, they could definitely do with a little, a little break and a little snooze. But they're not that bad. Also, yeah, money-wise, I think we're okay now. I really want to figure... I really want to figure out how this patent stuff works. I guess we just need to find another sample of some sort. And just get just get it done. Uh, let's also take a little look at the recruitment situation. I really want to recruit, like... I want to recruit three scientists. 
I want to recruit three scientists. I really don't care about the length of time that it takes to get it done. Honestly, no big deal at all. Nobody's taken a biological sample with them this time. Just going to check behind the gate just to see if anyone's thrown it through or, or done any, you know, suspicious, suspicious things. Everyone's just chilling. I think everyone should be refreshed and ready to go, to be honest. Yeah, and I'm kind of just... I think I'm kind of just pro-throwing people in, right? Let's go over here. Create mission. You start it. Yeah, base energy is low. Um, this is kind of why I think it's really important that we get the next level of generator done. And to be honest, maybe the next science team that I can get, maybe like one or two of them will stay behind and be just, you know, base researchers, something like that. But for now, I think we can probably squeeze like another couple of generators in here. I don't know if we actually need access to any of the... I suspect we do need access to some of these generators. I don't know the distance that these little robots can can operate at. So we'll get ourselves one last generator for this room. And then we'll either get ourselves a brand new room or we'll extend this room. I mean, either or is, you know, an appropriate way of handling the situation, if I'm honest. Not too displeased. And we'll have a couple of new scientists joining us. That is if uh, Potato Force 1 and Potato Force 2 don't actually report back back before then. Uh, let's start work on the brand new... I say brand new. Um, let's actually just extend it. I don't actually think this cost us anything to do. I'm also really curious to see how far along we can actually extend this. Because it seems... Uh, as a concept, we'll probably need a pretty infinite amount of energy, right? I mean, if it costs us money to link up the the exogates to other planets and stuff will probably need a lot more energy. So yeah, we'll get this all done. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to build the, oh god, so much money. This month, job popularity, there'll be less applicants for this job. Oh, please no. Right, Potato Forest 1. Without noticing, we were near one route. It is red with pink stripes and looks like a cone. Sure, study it. How many scientists am I going to get? Please, please don't tell me that it's going to be less than three. Also, this is good. Fog of War is slowly but surely being pushed back. That's what we love to see. Discovered some red root properties. Uses carnivorous energy source. We've just discovered something of scientific interest. Cold resistance. Seems we know everything about red root. Okay, take a sample. I will absolutely take a sample. That sounds like a great idea to me. Hopefully it's not poisonous or deals any damage or anything like that because I do not have a med bay. I would love to get a med bay, but I don't have it. Uh, a large fern. Study the properties. Yeah, I think we're going to be doing a lot of property studying, if I'm honest. Okay, three new scientists are available for hire. I think I'm just going to hire everyone. Yep, no reason not to. Georgia White, everyone is fairly, fairly cheap. Fairly cheap and fairly cheerful. Sample was successfully located. Brilliant. Okay. Excellent. End the mission. Get the sample. Happy, happy days. Um, I need to get some more... What do I need? One, two, three of those. What do we got? Red Firm Properties uses artificial energy source. And radiation resistance. Okay. Um... Try to learn more about it. Try to learn more about it, and then we'll take a sample afterwards. That'll definitely be an option for us. And we'll go and order some more food. It would be nice if I could order more food prematurely to the to the vending machines and just sort of have a stockpile. But alas, that is, that is not possible. We'll get these lockers built so that everyone has a proper locker. But for now, it's fine. Nope, not enough time or experience to finish our research. Okay. Um, try again. Try again. Literally, just give it another try. See what happens. Oh, Hannah's back. Uh, new patent, uh, new patent, patent, whatever, draft available for cold resistance. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Start working on cold resistance patent for 200 science points. Absolutely will do. Okay, so we need science points in order to do that. That is, that is worth noting. Um, I don't know if anyone is actually competent or capable of writing, writing the patents. Uh, but that is, that is interesting and good to note, actually. Okay, we'll get this... Oh, potato force. Something of scientific interest, medical treatment. Okay, we've learned everything about the red fern. 
Excellent, we'll take a sample now. Brilliant, so it seems that you can retry certain tests, like learning. It's gonna cost me 47,000, 50,000 to do. Seems like a bad idea. No. There we go, cancel that. Sample was successfully collected. Excellent, just get out of there. Beautiful. Excellent, you're really happy, and rightfully so, because we got a whole bunch of science points, and we got a whole bunch of knowledge about a whole a whole bunch of different stuff. Have we still got enough, um... Yeah, we've still got enough bio sample containment. That's fine. Uh, we're leveling up, which is beautiful. We've explored this area. We've explored this area. Have we got everything? I think we've got everything off all of these planets. Destination is outside of the demo's limits. Okay, that's that's fine. Create mission here. Let's go start the mission. Not enough energy. We need more energy to make that happen. We've got 42 energy. Have we... No active research? I think we actually might have leveled up. Let's give this a punt. Yeah, that's out there. Nice. Too tired to go on the mission. Too tired to go on the mission. Oh, I'm sure... I'm sure you'll get over it. I'm sure you'll get over it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right. This gives us plus 500 energy. Well, that seems about doubly effective. That is very, very good. I like that a lot. Okay. We're doing some biology research, and that's getting us a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of science points. Brilliant. We're almost done with this patent, and that's going to get me a whole bunch of money. Hannah is still here, still writing away. Bada bim, bada boom. If you, incredible. If you and your teams continue along this path, you can turn scientific discovery into a profitable operation. Brilliant. We actually did it. Congratulation. Just one single congratulation. Not, not any more than that. Uh, you reached the end of this preview of Exogate Initiative. We hope you had a good time. Feel free to continue your exploration throughout the universe or to arrange your base differently. Uh, yeah, very, very cool indeed. I mean, obviously, this is the, the very, very, very bare bones uh, at the moment. Feel like yeah, we can't we can't go there. Um, this is the very very bare bones at the moment, but there is there is I think uh, quite a lot of promise here, quite a lot of promise and quite a lot of potential. Uh, I mean, it's gonna take it's gonna take more than just this, but um, but to be fair, I mean, I haven't even I haven't even investigated any of these other rooms. I just kind of sort of beeline straight for the patent. But to be fair, cold resistance patent was published. Excellent. I like that. That's good. That's really, really good. Oh, look at this. Radiation resistance patent. Not enough science points. Yeah, so we need to do more science. We need to do more science uh, research before we're able to get... Before we're able to get... Uh, before we're able to get all up and running. This is very, very good. I like this. I like this concept. I really, really do. I think it's quite a unique... Quite a unique little... Uh, quite a, a unique little concept. And uh, I, I, I really, really dig it. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to wrap this this episode uh, up right about now, ladies and gents, even though we've just started the mission. Uh, this is one to follow. This is one to follow. Exogate Initiative coming to a solar system near you at some point in the future. Thank you, as ever, for watching, ladies and gents. It's been an absolute pleasure to play the game for you today. Uh, hopefully, you'll tune in next time. Check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. But for now and for me, it's goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>